Ladies and gentlemen, good day. I have a very important video to bring you guys because today in this video, I want to discuss whether or not the hex dip is over, whether or not it makes sense to buy the dip, and what my approach has been to dollar cost averaging, and where I see this thing moving forward, and some very important news and off chart factors you got to be aware of. So, if you like the sound of that, do me and you a favor like and subscribe, hit that bell icon to be notified of new uploads. Click all the buttons, comment, all that good stuff. YouTube likes it when you click buttons and you comment. So without further ado, let's delve into it. So folks, looking at Hex's price action here, this is what's called in highly technical terminology, a downtrend. Although what are we seeing here? We did find support on a version of one of my green lines here, which is good to see. But very interestingly, we had one massive hex whale one of the uh, biggest uh, whales in the ecosystem came in and bought the dip at around these levels and people have been speculating this whale is not going to let the price of hex fall below its entry and in my opinion folks it makes sense to me that hex would see buyers coming in at around this 20 cent mark clear support slash resistance range here's support here resistance over here resistance as well would make sense that if we retested these regions buyers would come in as well as this trend line but folks it is not all sunshine unicorns and rainbows because whether we like it or not no matter how personally bullish i am on hex over the long term hex is in a massive massive downtrend we have macro lower lows and lower highs the entire way around and although we've had a pretty decent relief rally breaking through a few critical resistance levels here at 20 cents here and at 26 cents as well we have still not broken the macro bearish price structure so in this video i want to discuss what levels we need to break out of in order for this thing to start being bullish again well folks well it's good that we're testing through 26 cents i would really want to see this thing hold above this red trend line here right above these daily candles in that case we could probably see bullish continuation to test this cluster of uh, trend lines that are very likely to act as resistance and i know when people see lines a couple lines they they, they, they freak out their, their brains can't handle they can't process it. but i believe me at least some of these lines are very likely to be relevant because there are traders there are speculators in this market and speculators like to draw trend lines just like me we're all artists but aside from all my lines here because we could draw lines all the live long day what I think really helps to cut through the bullshit is to identify very clear major inflection points. Where's a pivot point? And I think one major pivot point for Hex, it's not a matter of opinion, really, it's a matter of reality, was here right between 34 and 36 cents. Right here, clear base of support where buyers would come in here at 34, uh, between 34 and 36 cents. As soon as we broke below it, guess where the relief rallies got rejected, folks? At the previously defined range of support. So this, this is really the inflection point here is uh for me folks you know while there are some trend lines and we could draw things slightly differently bottom line is hex is in a macro downtrend until hex can start to spend time above 34 36 cents now again guys while this relief rally is promising i really want to see it get above 26 cents for it to see continuation and for the ultimate downtrend to be over in my opinion for hex to test all time highs and see prices scurvy again i really want to see it get above 34 36 cents until then 26 cents is the first major resistance level i want to see it spend time above now one major catalyst that we all need to be aware of is the fact that pulse chain the ethereum fork meant to be a faster better cheaper version of, of ethereum made by richard hart is currently in the works and there's much speculation as to when it's come out nobody really knows for sure when pulse chain is going to come out but we have this tweet here from richard hart kind of randomly out of nowhere uh telling people what time he was born and some people are speculating that hey this might really be a date november the 18th so some some people in the community are expecting an announcement an announcement of announcement some just something to happen uh november the the uh the 18th here which is just in a couple days so we'll see if anything comes with this. this is just a little bit of fun speculation folks more importantly folks hex uniquely has a chart of future market supply and right now we're looking at here at uh november we're looking december over here and this is all the way in the new year and right now if we look at this little bar right here this is november the 15th this is the day of recording and as we see folks in the upcoming you know days and weeks here we have large clusters of unstakes starting from uh tomorrow november the 16th all the way into uh 
what is December, December the 2nd, we're going to have large clusters of unstakes. So as Hex starts going through these large clusters of, of, of unstakes and the price doesn't continue to tank, I think that's more and more bullish. The more of these clusters of unstakes we can go through without the price tanking, the more confident we could be in a rally, in my opinion, because the market would have the confidence that these unstakes aren't really negatively impacting the price action. Now, it's always important to keep in mind that, folks, Hex is a staking coin. The whole point about Hex is to stake the biggest and longest amount possible because Hex was designed to optimize and capitalize on what's always worked the best in crypto, which is holding forever. Folks, you know, Bitcoin did it over a 6.5 and 6.7 million X. But how many people got to hold through that thing over the, you know, 10 or so years it's, it, it existed? Uh, no one, because everyone's got, got weak hands and everyone wants to sell every dip and every pump. Well, folks, with Hex, when you stake, you lock up your Hex for a a predetermined amount of time that you choose anywhere from one day to 55 days and you cannot unstake early without penalties if you fulfill half of your staking term then you can unstake and get your principal back but you will lose out on interest and so with all that being said folks we got to understand that the way interest is delved out in the hex system is through shares whenever you go to stake uh, you get a certain amount of shares or t-shares which will determine how much interest you will accrue throughout your staking term and folks it always gets more expensive to get t-shares in hex terms the price of a t-share in hex terms will always get more expensive regardless of what the us dollar price is doing this forever incentivizes the market to stake the biggest earliest and the longest because not only do the longer bigger stakes pay better but it will always get more expensive to get those t-shares or those shares which pay you the interest in the first place now if we can go back uh, to the price action here real quick without uh, getting too much further into the weeds of the tokenomics with hex uh, i'm more than happy to but i kind of want to make this more of a price video here we are on the hourly chart and on the hourly we are clearly forming a bit of a wedge a bit of descending triangle it pretty much means the same thing we are very likely to break out here within the next half day 18 hours but i'm sure i'm sure it's going to happen with the next couple hours here we're going to have a breakout in hex here now we were forming a bit of a head and shoulders beforehand but it, it's clearly turned into more of a descending triangle here so it's going to be very interesting to see what way we break out here folks is if we start to lose 24 cents uh 23 and a half cents that's not good i think the bulls will lose charge of the short term if we make a lower low here spend time on a lower low if we lose 23 and a half cents we could probably cough up the majority of this relief rally and test 20 cents in my opinion so it's very important that the bulls hang on to 23 and a half cents in the short term if they want to remain in charge and of course if we spend any kind of time on a higher high 28 cents here then we could start banging away at some of these trend lines and hopefully test the previous relief rallies highs over here now to begin to wrap up here while hex is in a macro downtrend we are seeing signs of bullish trend reversal i think we we just need to wait out to see for a bit more confirmation to be confident that this is truly a trend reversal and not just a dead cat bounce or relief rally now while the short term is very bearish folks i am fundamentally incredibly long-term bullish on hex because the whole point of hex is to appreciate in value over the long term through incentivizing scarcity and perpetuity through a set of very interesting tokenomics which i briefly touched upon in this video i'm personally buying up every single hex dip i can get my hands on and if we lose this range and retest 20 odd cents i'm definitely going to be buying the dip once again even if we drop further folks even if we lose this green trend line if we go to 10 cents nine cents oh my god the amount of hex i would be buying it's glorious so <laughs> So one of the reasons why I'm so gung-ho buying up every single hex dip, folks, is because, again, Pulse Chain's going to come out soon. For those who don't know, Pulse Chain will copy every ERC-20 token and put it onto that new blockchain, the Pulse Chain, including hex, folks, including your stake tax. So if, you, if you're staking your hex and you're an average size, average length staker, earning 37% APY on average, then you're going to get that doubled on a new chain, meaning you can earn over 60 70% in aggregate 
on what is the world's best performing asset. That is most definitely something I'm interested in, folks, because again, the whole point about Hex is to optimize for the long term, because the long term is always what pays the best. I don't care about the 5X, I don't care about the 10X. I'm going after that 100X, I'm going after that 1000X, and it will take some time, but you can stake and earn high APY. So that's what I'm up to. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think about Hex down in the comments below, what you want me to cover next. Of course, if you want to be a VIP member, as always, uh, join our Patreon. Link for everything is down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, take care.